Back with the breaking news update. After banning the Muslim League, uh, Jammu Kashmir Masrat Alam faction, the centres declared Tehreek e Horiyat also as an unlawful association under UAPA. In the latest, in fact, Amit Shah also said there's no space for anti-India activities. It's not going to be tolerated. Spoke of. Uh, the Modi government's zero tolerance policy towards terrorism. But here's how the PDP has chosen to respond. Mohit Bhan of the PDP says this is only for elections. The statements that are being made by uh, Home Minister Amit Shah along with several BJP leaders are just for electoral audience. All of this is being done, keeping in mind 2024 polls. Listen in. बात तो बड़ी हैरानी की बात ये है देखने वाली कि ये पांच अगस्त 2019 के बाद पहले ही ये सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस जो हैं ऑलमोस्ट बैन के नाम पे ही थी कोई बात नहीं कर रहा था सारे लोग इनके जो हैं मेन लीडरशिप वो या तो कहीं जेलों में कश्मीर में बंद हैं या कहीं कश्मीर से बाहर बंद थे या हाउस अरेस्ट में थे तो अब अचानक से ये इलेक्शन जो है दो के नजदीक आ रहे हैं तो रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री में ये दिखाने के लिए हैं जी चलो तो इलेक्शन आ रहे हैं जी हुरियत बैन कर दिया ये कर दिया ये तो ऑलरेडी बैन ही है सब अब बैन और इसके जो स्टेटमेंट है ये एक इलेक्ट्रल ऑडियंस को दिखाने के लिए एक स्टेटमेंट है Yeah, but that's the reaction coming in from the PDP that this is only being done to create a perception in the valley, and all of this linked to the 2024 battle. Yeah, but can you hear me? We'll just uh, reconnect with Yavar. The decision, remember, has come as a result of uh, the organization's involvement. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Tehreek-e Hurriyat, its involvement uh, in separatist activities in uh, in the valley. Now, the prohibited activities aimed at separation of Jammu and Kashmir from India and the establishment of Islamic rule is what has been taken objection to. Uh, and in the latest. In the latest, uh, the PDP leaders come out to link it directly to, to the 2024 battle. Let's quickly listen into that reaction once again, then we'll go across to Yavar. बात तो बड़ी हैरानी की बात ये है देखने वाली कि ये 5 अगस्त 2019 के बाद पहले ही ये सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस जो हैं ऑलमोस्ट बैन के नाम पे ही थी कोई बात नहीं कर रहा था सारे लोग इनके जो हैं मेन लीडरशिप वो या तो कहीं जेलों में कश्मीर में बंद हैं या कहीं कश्मीर से बाहर बंद थे या हाउस अरेस्ट में थे तो अब अचानक से ये इलेक्शन जो है दो के नजदीक आ रहे हैं तो रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री में ये दिखाने के लिए हैं जी चलो तो इलेक्शन आ रहे हैं जी हुरियत बैन कर दिया ये कर दिया ये तो ऑलरेडी बैन ही है सब बैन और इसके जो स्टेटमेंट है ये एक इलेक्ट्रल uh, ऑडियंस को दिखाने के लिए एक स्टेटमेंट uh, है Yavar is uh, back with us live on the broadcast. Yavar, you heard it from the PDP leader says the BJP is only trying to create this narrative ahead of the 2024 battle that action has already been taken against these kind of organizations and the BJP is only trying to rake this up given that this is election year. Exactly, this uh, you know statement came in from the PDP, in which they have to say uh, that banning these out outfits uh, is just a mere wash, and these uh, organisations were silent, and many of their leaders were already behind the bars after the abrogation of Article 370. They have to say uh, that uh, this is uh, BJP is doing this just to gain the politics grounds ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Now, this was a statement that came in from the PDP. In fact, uh, we heard that Apni Party President Alta Bukhari also said that uh, uh, the Home Minister. Uh, is the head of the you know union territory and uh, he whatever he has to take he know uh, who is doing and who is indulging in a lawful and unlawful activity so somehow he you know backs the home ministers uh, uh, banning uh, huriyat all across but somewhere we are witnessing that political reactions are coming in from the regional party yeah, it's they are investigating that the home minister on one hand has spoken of a zero tolerance policy against uh, terror of the modi government the pdp though uh, remember has often come out to sympathize with terror elements has now taken this jibe in the latest at the center many thanks for joining us with that perspective a quick break we'll be right back with lots